All right guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I have a quick unboxing video and a little bit of comparison and my impressions of this, which is the Mac Mini. And this is the special edition Mac Mini, which is with the brand new Apple M1 silicon chip. So let's do the unboxing and I'll share with you what I have built for this particular model and my initial impressions. So this is actually my first ever um, Mac desktop that I've bought. I haven't bought an iMac. Um, I was planning on buying one, but then Apple released them M1 chips. And if you haven't watched my predictions video, which I'll leave in the description down below, my predictions are that in 2021, maybe, maybe 2021, but for sure in 2022, we're gonna get an iMac with a complete redesign with a Apple Silicon chip. So that's why I've gone with this particular model, which is the M1 chip for the Mac mini. So let's take, uh, let's unbox this. And while I'm unboxing this, I will tell you where I'm transitioning from and why I have gone with this. So let's unbox this. So pretty much it's a two kilogram box that I bought this from Apple's website. You can walk into a store and get this because this is the one that has the 16 gigs of unified memory. So the stores in my area only carry the eight gigabytes of memory. So if you want to get the 16 gigabytes of memory, it has to be custom built. This was custom built in China and then shipped out to Canada. It took about four days, four business days. In terms of storage, um, I think 512 for me was a little bit too low. So I've gone with the one terabyte storage, which is about $250 Canadian and $200 US because I think the one, one terabyte is the sweet spot. And I didn't go with the two terabyte. Um, that was my initial build. But the reason why I didn't go for it, it's 500 bucks extra on the Canadian side, 400 bucks extra on the US side. For that extra terabyte, I ended up getting a Samsung T7 um, hard drive, which is almost as fast as the hard drives on the Mac mini. It's half the price. So I'll leave a link for the T7 that I'm using down below in the description. But let's take a look at the box. So overall at the front, it shows you what the actual computer is going to look like. And then over here, it says Mac mini nothing over on each side. Now over here, all it simply says is Mac mini M1 with the eight core CPU and 16 GB unified memory with that one terabyte of uh, SSD. So let's unbox this. Now, in terms of color choice, um, since this is a brand new release, Apple hasn't released a different color. So what you're gonna get is only the silver um, option, which is over here. And so you have your computer over here and inside you'll get your instructions manual inside over here. And then inside of that is the power cord. So there's nothing else that's coming out of the box. Um, in terms of the keyboard and trackpad, if you're planning on buying an Apple one, I would recommend that you bundle it together when you do buy your Mac mini, because I've spoken with people online as well as in the store, Apple stores. If you bundle these two together when you're doing your shopping and you pay for it with your Apple care added at the exact time, what happens is your keyboard and your trackpad or whatever accessory you buy, like the keyboard, mouse and trackpad, those three accessories, they also get the um, Apple Care coverage. So your keyboard and your trackpad is covered for two years as well. So this is actually quite interesting because uh, I'm not sure if you're able to see this, but this is actually quite dusty. Um, as same thing with over here, it seems pretty dusty. So let's see if the camera is able to capture that. Right now I'm currently shooting on my iPhone 12 Pro Max. I'm still working on the particular review for this model. Um, and at the bottom, it's, uh, it's a little bit of rubberized plastic. It says Mac mini and I'll take this off. And we have nothing at the front. And then at the back, it's black tape right now. So I'll reveal the ports. And here we have it. So you have your power button, your power outlet, your ethernet cable. You have two Thunderbolt ports. Um, they're separate connectors, so they'll have a higher bandwidth. They'll support the full 40 gig bandwidth, HDMI cable, um, and two USB 
port and an audio jack. So that's pretty much it for what's inside of the box. So pretty much it seems um, very simple, very straightforward. And I'm actually going to be doing a desk setup video or my desk video for 2021, which revolves around this particular Mac Mini M1. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on that. And it seems like a very simple machine, but I'm actually going to be putting this to the test. So what I, where I am coming from is I'm coming from a 2019 15 inch MacBook Pro. It was the very last 15 inch that they produced. It has 32 gigs of RAM. So I'm going to see if this is actually faster than my MacBook Pro. On th in theory and from what I have heard, I think it is going to be a little bit faster, but let's see. As well as I'm going to be putting this to the test to my workflow and see if I have any issues with this M1 chip because I'm seeing so many videos on YouTube where people are having issues with Bluetooth connections or other input devices. So I'm going to see how it works with my workflow, which is on all on Final Cut Pro. I use Lightroom once in a while and I use a lot of Safari and Chrome to do my marketing stuff. So let me know in the comment section what questions you have for this particular M1 Mac Mini. And I can't wait to bring you more videos on this. And I'm really excited for this. So thank you very much for watching. And until next time, goodbye.